I was a respected figure in the community, the first Asian playwright to have a play produced on Broadway. I even appeared on national TV. Carla Chang, actress and political activist. Equite Council is meeting tomorrow to reconsider their decision about canceling Miss Saigon. They're holding a rally tomorrow at noon. I don't think, I don't think I could make it. What do you mean? We have a chance to stop Yellowface forever. Yes, but it's an artistic freedom thing. It's making us look bad. But we need you tomorrow because the papers recognize your name. I can't make it, okay? I'm doing what's best for the community. Henry Huang is writing a new play, Face Value, which can be described as a comedy mistaken racial identity. Inspired by the events of miscasting a character in Miss Saigon as a white man, it's about a musical in which the lead actor is a Caucasian playing an Asian. But in the opening night, two Asian Americans pro protesters sneak in wearing white faces. He is perfect. Marcus is perfect. But That's guys, right. does he look Asian? What do you mean? He's short, high cheekbones, slanty eyes. I find your question sort of offensive. Is he Asian? Well, he's not full-blooded. Are you discriminating against them too? I can't tell an Asian when I see one. Hey, Rodney. Hey. How's Marcus? Well, hey, I wanted to ask. Yeah, he's one lucky motherfucker. What? Anyone else could have had their balls handed back to them in our community, but fucking David Henry Wong can cast a white guy as an Asian and nobody gives a damn. Marcus isn't Asian? I mean, I know he's not 100%. Oh, he's 100% all right. 100% white. Oh, and by the way, I loved your audition. I would love for you to be the lead's understudy. Really? I can't fire him because he's white? No, he can make charges against discrimination. So you have to find a way to fire him for something else without him knowing you know he's white. Hey, if you could call me back, I'd like to talk to you. I just wanted to say thank you for letting me work with you. And I'm heading back to San Francisco in the morning. Meeting adjourned. Hey, I just saw the king and I with my wife. And the lead was an Asian actor you worked with a while back. Funny thing is, he didn't look Chinese. Oh, no. Why are you pretending to be part of this community? I saw you in the press. You've become an Asian American advocate. Because it feels good to be a part of something bigger than myself. I'm passionate about this. Hmm? While the government is going after countless Asian Americans, you're still safe. They're coming after me, too. But you can just take that mask off, which might just be the thing that distracts the press long enough to get them off our backs. If you care about this community, you should publicly announce that you're white. Nothing human is ever pure. I joined the big song and I found what I had lost. A reason to hope and now I can go home. For Marcus, the play ends. As for me, I go back to work, searching for my own face.